Hello, and welcome back to EPC. So yeah, if you're wondering just how big this case is, I can stick my full face in and Mitch, our intern, can actually live inside it. So there you go. When it comes to high-end PC cases, the guys at Thermaltake definitely spring to mind, bringing some of the most unique and customizable case options to the gaming forefront. When Thermaltake decided to send us their helicopter inspired, yeah, you heard me right when I said helicopter inspired, a HT600 PC case, we were more than excited to see what it could bring to the ever-growing market. So let's waste no further time and jump right into it. Firstly, let's list the main features before taking an in-depth look. The case comes with a fully modular design, two sides of tempered glass, helicopter-inspired aesthetics tailored to water cooling, and it also features USB Type-C. The first thing you notice upon unboxing this case is just how big it is. I mean, this thing rivals their View 71 for both size and weight, weighing over 20 kilograms without any internal components. If you're familiar with the View 71, you'll know how awkward that case can be if you're a little restricted for space. Well, unfortunately for some, the AHT600 poses the same issues. The T600 is inspired by military attack helicopters, and you can kind of see this when looking at it from certain angles. The front sort of looks like a helicopter cockpit, and the side pods could represent missiles. It's a little ridiculous though, if truth be told. The front panel is where where most of the cockpit style aesthetics can be found. It consists of three three millimeter tempered glass panels that sit just below the IO ports and give visual access to any radiator or RGB case fans you decide to install. Moving to the rear of the case, there again isn't much to talk about in terms of design features. The back is, for a lack of better phrase, a gaping hole that gives users complete access to internals of the PC. That said, the AHT600 does come with Thermaltake's patented rotational PCLE 8 slot, which can be screwed to the back of the chassis giving GPUs and additional expansion cards the stability they require. The top of the HT600 is comprised of two layers, one being the chassis and the other being a lid-like piece that is made from pure steel. The steel lid just doesn't really offer a great deal in terms of features. However, it does have air ventilation holes, which allow the top radiator or fans to have full airflow. Gaining access to the interior of this case is, as you can imagine, fairly straightforward achievable via numerous different angles. The doors can swing open when users want to gain access to the components and secure in place via a large accessible form screw. As you open the side panel up, you get a better idea of just how big the interior of this case is. It's huge. Good news for a number of different reasons. At the front, users have access to the fan mounting rack. The rack can be removed with relative ease via two screws found underneath the cockpit plastic shell. Once the screws have been removed, users can tilt the fan mounting rack backward and simply pull the entire thing out. Users have numerous cooling possibilities here with support for a 480mm radiator, three 140mm radiators or three 120mm fans. The base of the case is clearly the least prioritised area of the T600. It offers very little in terms of design features, only offering up a dual reservoir slash pump mounting tray that screws into the base via a single thumb screw. There is no PSU shroud on this case, nor are there any fan mounting possibilities for the floor either. Whilst modularity has been a runner characteristic throughout this case, it still came as a surprise when we discovered you could physically remove the entire motherboard tray. That's right, you can physically remove the motherboard tray, install the motherboard, then reinstall the entire thing with little to no fuss. And this is all done via a couple of thumb screws found at the top. The T600 has support for up to EATX motherboards. However, when installing an EATX board of our own into this chassis, we did notice that cable management routes were affected. Moving to the rear of the case, users are greeted by another identical five millimeter tempered glass side that is also on hinges. After removing the side panel, it's clear to see that cable management was a large part of the design process. There are a ton of cable routing options, including cable tie holes, cable cutouts, and Velcro ties. There is a large cutout in the center of the motherboard tray, which allows easy access for installing large CPU coolers. Underneath, users will find three individual hard drive trays that can be altered to your preference. Overall, the back follows the same trend as the front. Aesthetically, it ticks a lot of the right boxes. Functionally, it could probably use some tweaking. Now, whilst the design of this case won't be everyone's cup of tea, it does hold a place in today's market. Thermal Take has given the T600 a completely open plan design that really leaves very little to the imagination. Whilst this can look fantastic if done correctly, it does pose some problems when it comes to airflow efficiency. Most of the time, you want an enclosed space that allows air pressure to build and solid airflow to follow. I thought this was just another obscure looking case that was destined for the scrap metal bin. However, after spending some time building in it and 
seeing the massive amount of water cooling aesthetic possibilities, it's clearly something much more than that. Ultimately, what we have here is a showpiece a custom builder's dream when it comes to water cooling. As displayed at CES 2020, you can really make this thing look superb. While this case isn't perfect, coming equipped with quite a few flaws for the everyday user, it's still a very efficient blueprint for a much bolder project. The bottom line is this, if you're looking to put together a water-cooled PC and want an extremely loud aesthetic to build around, then the AHT600 could be exactly what you are looking for. As always, links to the product will be in the description down below for you to go and check out. If you enjoyed the video at all, we would love if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload, and we'll see you in the next one.